Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Return to Monkey Island. We're on Melee Island, we're having a look around, we're trying to do all of these massive list of tasks that we've got here. Uh, we've actually got a new one, Get Stan to Help with Elaine's Flyer, which I think we were going to do anyway, but we didn't actually have it on the list. Um, yeah, we've got a lot to do here, and I actually want to go back to Bermuda, because apparently uh, we should go back and check out the... Um, the castle there. Uh, apparently I didn't really look around there properly, some of you guys have said, so that's what we're going to do. That's where we're going to start off. So, through we go. Um, oh, actually, yes, no. I did, I did ch check about changing the fish for the seagull, didn't I? So, um, we've got this... I still feel like we've got to do something with this book, but I don't know what. So, let's go. Um, also, the fire thing. We need to find a fire that doesn't go out. Uh, and according to um, David Page, we actually did that at some point. Um, I, I can't remember, honestly. The only fires I really remember are the ones on the truck ship. So I don't know if it's something to do with that. So we can maybe check that out afterwards. But first thing I want to do is go to the ice castle. See if we missed anything else. Because I think we got... I mean, these aren't fires the... that can't go out, are they? Because they are in... Okay, it's lit. Okay, it's lit. The flame looks good. Okay, may maybe these are fires that can't go out. Although some of them look like they had gone out in town, so I don't know. Okay, did what did we miss here then? Let's have a look. So we've got a bucket. It's slowly filling up with castle. We've got a fire. This entire castle is made of ice. Thank goodness there's a fire. We're ready to be freezing. Okay, we can warm our hands. There's the book. I mean, I don't know if there was like another area. Can we ask the Ice Queen Nina. anything else? Actually, let's be formal after all, shall we? Oh, most regal high authoritative <laughs> benevolent ruler person. Yes. Um, no. Thank you for the audience. I'll take my leave. Very well. You may go. Okay, was there anything higher up here? There's just the book as far as I can see. At the end of the plank. My only copy. Please don't touch it. Uh, and obviously there's there's these guys here. But um, it doesn't look like there's anything else we can interact with around here. So I, d I don't know what it is I missed. Maybe something that hasn't happened yet. I don't know. Um, right. So well, that leaves us with very few options actually. So let's... I'll tell you what. Let's go to... We've been to Terra Island. We need the flame. There's this ship here, which is the scurvy ship, right? I mean... Can we do anything here? Uh, hello? Anyone up there patrolling the deck? Ready to kick me into the sea? Sounds like the coast is clear. I hope. Unless it's a trap. Right. You are a disgrace to the pirating profession. <laughs> I'm more focused on the staying alive profession right now, thanks. Yeah, yeah, we are. Um, so far, so good. Oh, we're on. Okay. So. <gasps> Apple Bob. Oh, yeah, we want to try and get the book. So, um, obviously, I'm actually Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you again. I assume that's your real skin this time? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry for tricking you with the other two. <laughs> two? Uh, one. Math's not my best subject. Either way, don't worry about it. You're LeChuck's rival, not mine. I've got better things to worry about. Also, I enjoyed the book you brought me. Oh, good. Um, are you finished with the book? Are you finished with the joke book yet? Emotionally, yes. <laughs> it's not that long, and I've read it 16 times already. Oh. Okay, can I have it back? Can I have the joke book back? Then what am I supposed to read? You said you were finished. You've read it 16 yeah. times. It's boring reading it over and over, but it's better than nothing. Okay, so we're gonna have to... He's got a fishing lure thing as well! That's the third time we've seen... This has got to be something. It's got to be. Right, where is everybody? Where is everybody? Flambe is up in the crow's nest. Odds are he's sleeping. Okay. Iron Rose said she was running an errand. The rest went with LeChuck on that other ship. Would that be Captain Madison's ship? I think that's right. Oh, of course. Yeah, okay. Um, don't tell the Chuck I was here, okay? Uh, don't tell the Chuck I was here, okay? 
No, 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 don't worry. I wouldn't want to risk making him that angry. <laughs> he gets a bit, um, scary. Yeah, I can see that. Remind me why Flombe, Flom, Flombe still has a job? Remind me why Flombe still has a job? He doesn't do anything. He's handy to have around when we have to fix things below the waterline at night. Ah, okay. Oh! Oh! Remind me why Flambe still Let's has listen a job. to that again. He doesn't do anything. He's handy to have around when we have to fix things below the waterline at night. So he can go underwater even though he's fire. So maybe he's the fire that doesn't go out. Are you sure I can't okay. have the joke back? Oh, it's boring reading it over and over, but it's better than nothing. Hmm, okay, fine. Hang in there, Bob. Still not funny. So we need a book that we can give him in exchange for that. And I mean, we we don't really have many, but we could give him LeChuck's diary. Hey, Bob, I've got a great diary. book for you. It's LeChuck's personal diary. Yikes. I wouldn't want to be caught with that. And you shouldn't either. Yeah, okay, fine. So we're going to need a book which we can swap him. Um, I mean, this is pretty useless now, right? Hey, Bob, I've got a great book for you. It's Gullet's Poetry. Unpublished. You can get a sneak peek. There is nothing about Gullet that I want a sneak peek. <laughs> what kind of books do you like? Yeah. At this point, I'd have to say long ones. Long I go for pure, ones. unadulterated, massive length. <clears throat> the trouble with books is that they end. A never-ending book, possibly. Huh. Okay, well, we'll bear that in mind. Is, is the cat going to be... No, the cat doesn't really seem to do too much, honestly. I still don't know what that is. <laughs> is it a ghost? I don't know. I wouldn't want to wake him up. No, okay, fine. Let's not wake him up, but let's see if we can... I'm sure he won't mind if I borrow some demon fire. Demon fire, this that's got to be it. Sophisticated every year. That has got to be it, right? The demon fire. Right, before we head off, though, um, I kind of want to see if we can do anything below deck. Because if nobody's here, we should be able to sneak around in LeChuck's cabin and stuff, right? Okay, nice. What's he got in here? Apparently actually very little. Can we just take that? If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. <laughs> Alright, so it doesn't actually look like there's anything we can steal from here, unbelievably. But... Let's go to the kitchen, or the galley. Have a look around in here. Is there anything in here we can steal? What's that? Oh look, the demon pepper's been refilled. It's Chef Putra's demon pepper, made from the hottest peppers you can get. Okay, can we take that? We can. Uh, it's an empty box. An empty demon pepper box. Looks like Putra replenished her supplies. Okay, pasta? Yeah. No. Okay. Um, there's the soup. Old boots and deodorant. It's Ugh. like a college dormitory. Okay, there's heat down there. All right, well, we got some demon peppers. I'm not really sure what that's going to be for. But it's got to come in handy, right? Uh, I already have some chicken feed. We don't want any more chicken feed. Okay, up we go. So... I mean, really, the only thing I'm thinking is that we go back to to um, Terra Island now and see if we can use the lamp. So let's do that. Also, yeah, apparently this, this catacombs puzzle thing, we completely fluked it. Apparently you're meant to look at the seasons on the cards. Um, I didn't do that, and we just managed to blag our way through, basically. Um, but apparently we don't need to do it again, I've been told. Once you've solved it once, then, then it's solved, so... <laughs> You know, several twisty passages later. Yeah, so here we go. Okay. So, can we jump in now? Okay. Here goes. I'm hoping the demon fire is going to work. Yes, it does. Cool. Okay. Ooh. I don't think I'll get too close. It probably tastes delicious. Yeah, yeah, you might do. Um, question is, what's going to be down here? Oh god, what's that? It's, it's, a, it's a lantern fish, is it? Ribs. Looking at these ribs is making me hungry. 
bones. Yeah. Somebody forgot their bones. It's Murray, maybe. Um. Okay. Ooh, where are we now? Venture deeper. The music's changed a bit. It says, warning. It's a long way. Oh, God. <laughs> Hold on to that lantern. <gasps> Herman! Lucky thing you landed on my Oh my god, it's Herman! Herman Toothrot? I think so. It's been a while. Names do funny things when you're not using them. Oh my god, how have you been? How have you been? Meh. Okay, have you been in this cave very long? Have you been in this cave very long? Well, not in geologic terms. As a percentage of the total number of years of existence of the cave itself, <laughs> it would be a small number. On a human scale, however, yes! <laughs> it all depends on your perspective. I wondered when we were going to run into Toothrop. I didn't think it would be here. Uh, okay, I'm looking for a golden key. I'm looking for a golden key. Sounds like something I might have read in a book once. Are you a fictional character? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> How does a person get out of this place? How does a person get out of this place? Typically, you don't. Oh, uh, are you freaked out by all the weird screaming? Are you freaked out by all the weird screaming in the caves? Oh, that's me. Just a little light entertainment and well-being work. Of course Primal it is. Primal screaming is very therapeutic. Uh, try it. Okay, uh, let's do it. Ah. Whew, you're right. Yeah, that feels good. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get you anything? Can I get you anything? Out would be nice. Okay, maybe. Um, so, uh, Herman Toothrot was not expect. Oh. It's a golden key. Wow. We got one. No oh no. Touching. Uh, that's a golden key. That's a golden key. Maybe it's mine. Uh, you were hunting for the keys too. You were hunting for the keys too. That's how you got stuck here. Is it? I suppose that would make sense. Let's make a deal. Let's make a deal for the key. I'm pretty sure I wanted it for a reason, but a decade or so in a dark cave can do funny things to your memory. <laughs> so, get me out of here, and then I'll let you have the key. Okay, how do I know I can trust you? If you let me have the key, then I'll get you out of the cave. If you let me have the key, then I'll get you out of the cave. That sounds good. As long as it's escape first, key afterwards. That's afterward. not what he said. Uh, okay, it needs to be key first, then escape. It needs to be key first, then escape. It needs to be escape first, then key. It needs to be key first, then escape. Me having the key is for the greater good. Me having the key is for the greater good. For the greater good of you, certainly. <laughs> Just give me the key. Just give me the key already. Uh, give me that key. Give me that key. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oops. I'm eager to see how you're gonna get us out of here now. Oops. Oops. Okay, that's not it's good. It's too dark to see anything. <laughs> we can't even see the thing. Want to hear a quote? No, I don't. Get some rest. Three hours later. <laughs> oh god, it's still dark. So, Herman. Any ideas? Uh, any ideas? I was hoping you'd have one. Uh, I mean, we've got matches. We, we could maybe light a match. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Well, we got a key, I mean... I wish I could see it. Reginald so... unfurled the perfumed missive and slid hmm. his eyes along it. We've got... Oh, my lovely privateer. Lend me your most private... Igniting this firewood in my pocket isn't the smartest idea I've ever had. I should find somewhere to put it. I okay, can we... Can we... I mean, there's a bed down here. My sweetest lily pad, so could we... Reginald Hart... Won't you come on down to my brigantine? Throwing her hand to her head, Cornelia replied, no. Alas, you know I cannot leave my station. Do we have anything that 
I mean, we could... We could do this. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Well, that wasn't so hard. I, I kind of... What happened to Mr. <laughs> when? Did you get him out of the cave? How'd oh, you do no. it? Oh, no. That's not part of this story. Oh, okay. <laughs> we left him there. Oh, no. No. Oh, that's, that's horrible. I wonder if there was a way to actually get him out of there. I feel really bad. Right, guys, well, we'll leave it there for this one. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, and Hobo for all the support on the channel. Oh, and Numinous as well. I keep doing that. Sorry, Numinous. For all the support on the channel, I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. See, this is what happens when you do horrible things to Herman Toothrot. You lose your memory. I'll see you next time, guys.